Okay, let's see how to use uh, Visual Studio Code with um, Jupyter Notebook. As you know, uh, Visual Studio Code is an editor and it's free. You just can write code here and you bring it alive. And here it is. And then you can just go into, you know, every folder and run it from there. Maybe you cannot do code here, but you can go cmd into the address uh, bar here and then do code. And you will start from here, from this, from this folder. And you know, Jupyter is another editor uh, that you use with the browser and it's very useful. I've talked about this uh, in another post and you see why because it has this uh, cell series here where you can um, do different coding uh, of different things um, for example here uh, you can also use markdown like this you see here you can do markdown or choose code if you choose Markdown, you can use the Markdown to, for example, show an image or text to explain what you are doing. And uh, you can have other um, cells that you can run with Ctrl or Shift plus Enter. If you go Ctrl plus Enter, the program will run, like this one, where I put this Pygame uh, little script. And uh, but what? If, and so you then you can add another cell uh, do some other code here like print hello world uh, press uh, control enter and you see here the um, the code that is different from this one but you can also use uh, run this and use the variables in um, of, of the previous cells in the other cell and so on a lot of cool stuff that makes you uh, be very productive with your with your code, but it, this is not uh, Visual Studio, okay? Because Visual Studio Sublime Text is very mm, makes uh, editing the code very comfortable if uh, they cannot use cells. But what if you could use uh, both of them? Uh, the the um, the the cells of Jupiter and uh, and uh, comfortably uh, the, 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 the editing capability of Visual Studio. So you can you can do it now. You can go into into the folder also where you have, for example, your Jupyter stuff or in any folder. Uh, this doesn't matter. I just want to show you, for example, um, let's go into into this folder here open cmd and run uh, Visual Studio Code with the writing code and you are here and uh, you see I got this but let me close all this stuff and let me start um, and from nothing let me create a new file and uh, let's call it example.py and uh, you see here um, wh how can you can just do anything uh, like you always do in Python print hello and then go into save it go into the terminal and go Python example.py and run it and you see hello here but what if you could use all these powerful tools in in Jupyter first of all you you see here I got my Python interpreter here on the bottom uh, left but if you don't have nothing here you have to go into into view command palette you see select Python interpreter and you will have all your interpreters here 
and um, you know I got a 32 bit version and a 64 bit version and I choose the 64 bit version in which I installed um, I installed uh, Jupyter Lab. You know to install uh, Jupyter you you can go here and do pip install Jupyter and maybe you have to install then Jupyter Lab. I don't remember if there is the this is written this way or this way, but you can ch check on internet and after you install Jupyter Lab you can come in Visual Studio, in Visual Studio um, use the interpreter where you installed uh, Jupyter Lab. Maybe you already have it, and then go and uh, you can do this. Put hashtag and this. Okay, you see here appear these uh, these labels up. It means that now you can run Jupyter for Visual Studio. So if I go Control Enter you see it opens here the Python interactive shell so it takes a while to load the interactive shell just the first time and then it prints hello now you can go and do uh, other things world and so hello world it will print it you can um, go to two you can if you go with shift and enter you go it will create another cell without having to even write this and then you can do something else you can do a equal 100 and print a for free let's go run it and you can see here the result while you get this one here you can go back here and print it again just like in Jupyter so you see how it and is a Python Py file here is saved as a dot py. So you see how it's um, it's useful and easy to use, and I think I will use it a lot because I love Jupyter, I love Visual Studio Code, so this is uh, perfect for me. Thank you. Okay, and uh, another thing that you can do is to uh, run Markdown. Uh, you just have to add here. Uh, markdown in uh, square brackets and uh, then you can do hello world and this is markdown okay written like this and and then you can just uh, run the cell and go into another one and hello world print hello world so you can do another last thing you can do is to export Jupyter notebook uh, this thing that you write in the you have written in a .py form you can write as a, a, a notebook let's call it 01 press enter and then you can also open it in the browser here you can also manage extensions and uh, open it in browser and here it is we've opened it into the old Jupyter notebook but you can also open it in with uh, with Jupyter lab of course for example I get my Jupyter lab here uh, shortcut here if I open it I will find this uh, this file zero one into into the pygame folder zero one there there it is and select okay Python interactive 
yes there it is our um, our simple code here now we can use it in uh, in Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook and and that's all for now for our little excursus here in uh, in uh, Visual Studio Code and Jupyter Lab together.